Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about what are agent pools in Azure DevOps. Specifically, we will look about what is Microsoft hosted agent in Azure DevOps. All right. So if you're new to my channel, I would request you to subscribe and watch my channel. Now, in addition to that, if you really think the video series that I'm putting up on Azure DevOps and other topics are very useful for you, I would request you to buy me a super thanks, which will really motivate me to perform future videos right so if you are not sure what super thanks is you can go to any of my video and click on three dots and you can see there's an option for thanks you can select an amount of your choice and you can buy and send me and the, and as a bonus the a public comment will be added um, at the top of the comment section all right so now let's jump on to the actual video okay so what is an agent pool okay uh, an agent pool is a collection of agent all right so instead of managing each agent individually in azure devops you can organize agents into agent pools so whenever you configure an agent it is registered with a single pool and when you create a pipeline you specify the pool in which the pipeline runs all right so um, so as the name suggests agent pools right so you will have a collection of agents inside it all right so the popular one are microsoft hosted agent and self hosted agent so self hosted agents will I will make a separate video you in which I, I will cover what are self-hosted agents and how do we specifically uh, you know when and where do we specifically use uh, self-hosted agents we'll discuss in our upcoming video here in this particular video we'll just focus on Microsoft hosted agent all right so as as the name suggests uh, the Microsoft hosted agent right everything is taken care of you by Microsoft okay so if you're um, you know, if your pipelines are actually in, uh, if your pipelines uh, no, um, are running in Azure, like the convenient option for you to run is on the Microsoft hosted agent. Okay, so that is the most um, you know, preferred agent for running Azure pipelines. All right, so with Microsoft hosted agents, the easiest thing is you do not need to worry about maintenance and upgrades and all. You know, it is automatically taken care of for you by Microsoft team. Okay, so you you will always get the latest version of the VM or image you specify in your pipeline. Um, so uh, like uh, everything is taken care by Microsoft itself. Okay, so in order to understand what Microsoft hosted agent is, let's look at small practical section here. So now I am in my pipelines page. Now if I go to my organization um, page, right? So you can actually configure the agent pools at, a con at the organization level itself. Okay, so that it will be common across every project that you'll create across your organization. All right, so now you can go to your organization settings. And here you have an option called agent pools under pipeline. If you click on agent pools, you can see by default there are a couple of options one is azure pipelines and default okay by uh, default azure pipelines is the naming convention that will be provided to your microsoft hosted agent okay now you, if you go to azure pipelines okay you can see i will i have performed a lot of uh, you know, job runs uh, uh, prior so that i can see all the history of jobs that i have run use this uh, using this microsoft hosted agent all right so you can see the job details in the job tab you can view the agent details like what is that agent uh, it's an uh, it's an hosted agent like when was the last run what is the current status like if you want do you want to keep it enabled or you want to disable it so all these kind of information you can um, manage in your agent pool section under organization all right in addition to that you can configure the agent pools at the project level as well so if you go to any project like now I am in project online DevOps demo under here we have something called project settings so once you click on project settings again there is something called agent pools in your pipelines again here you can if you go to Azure pipelines you can see similar kind of details like jobs agent details security approvals and checks analytics and all okay so uh, <clears throat> you can configure this at a project level too okay so now let's look at an example about where the agent we where where do we actually use these microsoft hosted agents now i am in my pipelines page um, let me go to any classic pipeline okay i will go to my classic pipeline i'll try to edit it in edit mode you can see we have an option called agent job one run on agent which actually specifies 
you run a series of steps on an agent okay agent is more like a you can imagine it as a virtual machine kind of thing okay so you can see on the right hand side we have few options like agent pool so by default azure pipelines is selected i i saw azure pipelines is the microsoft hosted agent so you can see it is a hosted one so by default azure pipelines microsoft hosted agent is selected all right so which actually means your jobs and the series of steps that you have configured in your classic pipeline will actually run on this microsoft hosted agent pool all right so uh, you will have the uh, default agent specification also here like usually it will be ubuntu latest but you can change it according to your project requirements where do you want to run your uh, <coughs> job all right so here this is how you can specify the details in um, classic pipeline okay in case if you want to verify it in yaml pipeline all right so let me create a new pipeline um let me select let me create a python package okay as soon as i create a yaml pipeline you can see a default yaml code displayed for me here you can see an information with regards to pool okay if i expand this so pool actually specifies agent pool all right you since it is a microsoft hosted agent i the origin uh, the agent pool name is not explicitly specified here whereas for self hosted agent you might need to do that so for microsoft hosted agent you can see we have an pool parameter here under that you have a vm image okay by default ubuntu latest is selected you can change it according to your project requirement all right so <clears throat> and you have other details and uh, uh, your other steps and tasks and other um, yaml related activities that is performed actually inside the yaml pipeline in under agent pools okay so um, you know azure pipelines agent pool offer several virtual machine images okay so we can choose according to our needs here as i said we have ubuntu latest right so you can select you know windows latest or windows 2019 which is very widely used and um, you know mac os latest so basically any kind of uh, uh, any kind of virtual vm image that you want to use can be used in the um, yaml build here okay by default you know more in most of the cases especially in the classic build it is uh, windows 2019 is used and uh, for yaml by default ubuntu latest is uh, used all right so yeah this is what uh, agent pool is all about basically just uh, and just a quick recap like if you uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the microsoft hosted agent with with help of microsoft hosted agent you do not need to worry about anything like all you need to do is just select that uh, hosted agent and start running it for your project requirements trust me in most of the situations microsoft hosted agent is more than enough for you unless and until you have a specific project requirement okay so uh, in this case you will you need to create a self hosted agent which we will cover in our upcoming video all right so yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys in case if you have any queries regards to agent pools especially with regards to microsoft hosted agents please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you